Hello, everybody, and welcome to session three of Crusader Kings 2. Um, let's jump right in and let's see where we left off. Again, I've been terribly lazy and have not recorded in a while, so I'm not real sure where we are. Um, yeah, we died at the end of the last episode, and we only have a girl. Got a couple of brothers, though, that we might be able to sell off. <sighs> yep. Bad news bears is what this is. Bad news bears. The, uh, the war that we started ended because, uh, because it was our father's war, not ours, so we'll go ahead and speed things up. And see what we can get done. See if uh, Yudis here is going to be a little bit more successful than his father. Oh, we need an ambition. To have a son. Good ambition to have. Our kinswoman is also our wife. She's alright. Uh, we are alright. Nothing to uh, write home about. Either of us. Hmm. <laughs> oh, dead. Dead, dead, dead. We are going to war with Scotland over Cumberland here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of weird that the king of France would pick... Oh, yeah. Maybe not the best time to declare war on Scotland. Ah, uh, for this kid's claim on the throne. And we got a crusade. And Dulisha. And Dalusia. For this. Oh my god, yeah, we're stressed. I would be stressed too. Got a crusade going down over there. So let's see here. A lot of stuff has happened since we started playing as this guy. Looks like we're gonna beat Scotland pretty handily. But it also looks like this kid is not gonna be the King of France for much longer. Let's see. This guy is only going for the Kingdom of France. So that'll probably break this kid off as King of England up here. And that'll be that'll be awfully fun. I mean I would join the crusade and march our like 160 dudes down there. But I don't know if I would be able to make it past this. <laughs> Like, these guys are all hostile to me. So there's no real point in doing that. We're probably just going to sit here at max speed and earn money. So maybe we can do something later on in life. Sure. Yeah, like, I mean... We got problems on top of problems, that's what we have. Doesn't help that I wasted 150 gold on mercenaries last session to uh, gain no territory. That, that really is a bitch. And we died in battle against King Duncan II of Scotland. That is, uh, that is not good. We have died bravely on the field of battle against this guy. Some Scottish asshole just killed us. What do you know? Yeah, we did not inherit claims. What do you know? 
So we are now... How old are we? We are now a three-year-old girl. Um, well, I don't want people to declare war on me, so I'm gonna join the crusade. People don't declare war on you. Catholics, at least, will not declare war on you if you're in a crusade. We're now part of four wars. So, that's fun. They want the King of England. These guys want the King of France. Um, this guy wants to get married. You know what? We'll make that happen. Uh, sure, you can marry her. That's fine. Um, we'll let that claim go because we're not in any, we're not in any position to push that claim. We will, however, make a claim over here. Nope, 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 right there. Yep, that's where we're making the claim. Let's look at our laws. Laws look good. Technology looks good. None of that changed over. All right. Um, yeah, bad news, bad news is what this is. Crusade looks like it's uh, going alright, I don't know what we have made. Oh, I guess we're making moves down here and it looks like here with that trebuchet. It's rebels. People are joining to take over France, Pope Alexander's dead. He lasted a while. Somebody else declared war on France. We're being sieged. Can I join the winning team? Hold on, let's pause this. No, pause. Okay. A uh, son was born named Gervais. Okay. Who is declaring... Can I join this guy? I cannot. I wish I could. Can I join this guy? No. Can I join any of these people? No. Because, probably because I'm a kid, right? That's probably why. Does my, my regent hates me, which means I'm probably gonna get killed. My spy master hates me. If I make it 12 more years, it... well done, brigands. I will not make it 12 more years. That's what we're learning here. <laughs> My kinsman's blow, but I mean, he's not the worst guy in the world. Let's see if we can get this kid a wife. She's lustful, there we go. We need we need more people to try to kill me, that's what we need. This kid is now legal age. He's got a claim on our title. That's always good. We'll just get people in here like crazy. Why not? Everybody gets a wife. We're gonna lose money right away here. Can I make an upgrade before I lose all this money? Yeah, we'll build this. Before it takes me down to zero gold. <sighs> yeah, I'm losing money. Down to three. Well, Scotland's fighting back. That's good, I guess. They're about to get shit on right here. Yep. Well, Duncan, you tried. Malcolm, what's your name? Duncan. Duncan tried. It's not very well. Who are these guys? Who's currently burning our shit to the ground? Oh, our next door neighbor. They're not. They're not at war with us, are they? No, they're attacking France. Okay, that's fine. Okay. 
Uh, my cousin died after an illness. Um, no, you're going down in flames. Just, we're not helping you at all. Losing battles. Yeah, we blocked everything. <sighs> well, this game didn't go quite how I expected it to, to be honest. I figured it'd go a little bit different. We would gain at least another county before we all fell apart. It's kind of what I was hoping for, at least. We're winning the crusade! That's not a bad consolation prize. I don't know why I don't have vision down here. You'd think there'd be troops that I could see, but I guess not. Um, I can be educated. I'm gonna get my ass educated. That's what I'm gonna do. By this guy. Not like he already... I mean, he already has like a... Ten... <sighs> and I'm ill. I'm a sick kid. Sick kids in the year 1100 do not live very long. That's just what it comes down to. This kid has not grown up either. He's freaking stupid. He won something because a bunch of people just got imprisoned by him. I'm ambitious. <laughs> That's good, I guess. It's good to be ambitious. No valid ambition. Yep, I'm ill. No longer ill, right? Yeah, I'm just ambitious now. Ambitious is a good trait to have. I mean, I'm not, I'm not talking smack about ambitious. Don't get me wrong. This kid is now legal age, which means he needs a wife. Um, anybody will do. She is lustful and pregnant. I. Um, yeah, sure. I don't give a shit. She's lost cool. We need more kids to inherit after this bitch dies. That's what we need. Because, uh, we've made it two years, and the future is not bright. Future is not bright at all. Scotland is fighting back. It's great. Go Scotland. These guys independent? No, Tuscany is just constantly revolting, I guess, against the new emperor. Let's see what else is going on in the world. It's got to be more interesting than what's going on here. <laughs> right here, where nothing is happening. No. No. Hungary looks fine. Poland looks terrifyingly normal. Yeah, just factions all over the place. The King of England has now been imprisoned by the King of France. Which means now we have very, very pretty borders. Look at these borders. <laughs> got England here. Got England here. We have France here. We have England there. England is like four counties now. That's good. Not even. It's one. England is three counties. Fantastic. Our steward got killed by an angry mob, so we lost prestige. We do have a tremendous amount of prestige for how shit we have been doing, though. I'm not gonna bitch about that. This guy still wants France, though. All these guys. And uh, we need money. But we only have 12 troops. So we're not going to do that. I was going to send them off to like capture territory here. Because all the fighting is like down here. I was going to like, I was going to just like siege these places here and like make money. But our troops are all gone. This 
Scotland's still kicking England's ass. England. Who is in prison. Poor bastard. Let's look at the rest of the world. Scandinavia is doing fine. Russia is as screwed up as it's always been and always going to be. People in England want independence. People in Vermandois are dying constantly. But the Mead is broken. Sejik is doing fine. They're cutting down Byzant Byzantium. That's funny. More people in England want independence. Sure, you can have whatever you want to. A lot of people just got imprisoned by France. So France looks pretty normal right now for once. This is the first time. We're winning the first crusade. I wonder who's gonna make. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Who is gonna make land for the Pope? The Pope is going to get land out of it. Another battle. The Pope just won. Our low stone wall is completed. And the Pope won... What is this? Part of Granada and then... Seville? Yeah, that's part of Granada and this is Seville. Heresies all over the place. I mean, our moral, th our moral authority is really good for there to be this many heresies. But, whatever. This is really cute. There's three French holdings and one uh, one English holding. More people want independence here. Scotland, I guess, did not appreciate them fighting back the English. I don't even know. When can we make our next improvement? That's basically, we're living between improvements right now. Because we have nothing else to do. Because every time I tried to go to war, we got shit on, boys. That's what happened. We got shit on. It has been bad times in uh, <laughs> northern France. No. Bunch of people are now arriving at my court. I don't know why. Like a bunch of kids. Oh, because she's at my court? I guess some girl with like 15 kids came in. I mean, I don't want her here. Now all the French are going to war with... Yeah, I don't know why these people are here. Oh, I guess because they have claims on our shit? Why do they have claims on us? I have no idea who these people are. Is his wife blind now? I have no idea. I'm just not paying well enough attention, I guess. We're going to war for Cumberland again, because that worked so well the last time. More people want the throne of France. We have made it eight years without being assassinated. That's pretty good. Mind is still blown about that. Don't know how it happened. Biggest tower in Amiens is staggering high, but I decided to climb all the way up. On the outside, I saw Herbert Carling in the room on the top and shouted a greeting. 
He did not look too happy. Telling lies just seems so wrong. I have gained honest. What does honest do? Lowers our entry. Well, it's not like we had any chance of being assassinated, did it? That's gonna help. More babies, more heresy. These are like the most <laughs> heretical sons of bitches in the entire world. Just heresy all day long up there. Are these guys independent? Yes, they are. I don't know how they eked out independence from that whole mess, but God bless them. This kid is now an adult who is still a dwarf and has a stutter. Which is very funny. Yeah. Serpent shit all day long. This probably will not affect us at any point. It's just this happening over here. If we played as Byzantium or like Georgia or something, it might matter, but it doesn't. Georgia is still around though. Which continues to amaze me. <laughs> Georgia usually doesn't last this long. More cousins, just cousins all day long with us. We are 12 now. We might actually make it. Uh, my uncle lost his wife. Let's get him another one. Uh, let's see. You need a good wife. She'll do. Anyone that's not too old, I don't care that much about my uncles having kids, believe it or not. The HRE is getting roped into uh, Sicilian Wars, and they actually did make Sicily, it looked like. No help for the Byzantines. <laughs> and it looks like France is joining into Castile's bullshit, too. Like, these guys got their independence? Or Vito is fighting against the Pope? Lombardy got their independence? Do you have claims on Lombardy? No, you don't. So Lombardy might actually be safer right now. Because I don't think the Holy Roman Empire has de jour on Lombardy. No, I mean, Lombardy's safe and sound, boys. Uh, Gloucester, yeah, 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 whatever. More shit that does not affect us. Minimal city taxes, more stuff that will not affect us. We're 13. This guy should really get us a claim over here sometime. That would be really swell. Oh, well, that is what I'm talking about. Claims all day. We got a good little bit of money coming in. So we can hire mercenaries now as soon as we're old enough. Can you declare war as a kid in this game? You can declare war as a kid in this game. Alright. Do you have allies? Yes. Very many of them. They are in prison, though. Oh, thank God for revolt, huh? Yeah, this kid is gonna get shit on right away here. 
Um, it's 75 gold to hire mercenaries. It's like 7 gold a month. So we got enough for a couple of months. Let's get this up to like 120 gold, I guess. No, 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 no. No. Nope. I'm not waiting. I'm not being patient anymore. Can we hire mercenaries? Why can't we hire mercenaries? You know, oh no, okay, 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 okay. We're good. We're good, guys. Don't worry. We got the Bretons. I think we were hiring the Saxons before. We're gonna we're gonna stay true to the Saxon band. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna declare war on this guy. We're gonna hire the Saxon band. We're gonna raise our pittance of soldiers. We're gonna form up and we're gonna sit there until the Saxons get their shit together. I don't care how long this takes. Six percent a week. Ah, oh, okay, okay, they moved out of Ames. They moved out of Ames. Go, 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 go. We don't have time for this. We do not have time for this. Uh, Cynical. I don't know what Cynical is. What? We gain the trade Cynical. Intrigue is nice. Monthly piety kind of hurts. Priest board me in tears with the Thurman. Then told my uncle about my cynicism. He tried beating it out of me. My uncle beat the ha beat the cynicism out of me. That's cool, I guess. Um, it's not good. This is like properly not good. Okay, so we're gonna attack in here. October twenty fourth. October twenty. Damn it. Okay. Okay. 2,200 to 300. We got this, right? Okay, we got this. Okay, we got this. No problem. Shit, I do not have these mercenaries for long. Okay, we we gain money, though. We gain money from assaulting. So we can afford the mercenaries longer. Okay. People in my court are dying. People I don't care about. That's two more months of mercenaries. Keep assaulting. Mercenaries are paying for themselves. We're losing tremendous amounts of soldiers. One. Losing a lot of soldiers. Okay. Now. We got 60 gold. We got a little bit to play around with. Attack into these guys. They're not even going to try to... Oh, there they are. February 2nd. February 2nd. Catch them. Damn. Where are they moving? They're moving to Arctoy. 13th of February, 15th of February. Darn. Now where are they moving? Man toy. Okay. If I go straight into there, March 3rd, February 26th. March 3rd, March 3rd. Catch him. Damn it. Okay. I guess we're just chasing them around the circle. March 15th, March 16th, yeah. Will you surrender? No, you will not. I'm gonna have to catch his army. Okay, so, yep, that'll make him stop moving. Now, what do we got? March 30th. Where you got? 28th. Damn. Okay, no, no, bad. April 8th, April 5th. Got him. Right there. Crossing over a river, so we have huge penalties. He's got three flanks, we only have two, but we incredibly outmatch him. Yep. He's done for, we got a 95%. Is that enough? Yes. Move these guys home. Well, to their new home. Okay. This girl has officially done more <laughs> than anyone else so far, and she's not even an adult yet. I have grown attached. I'll say it. Oh, goodness. 
But these two are both under Valoy as well, which means we'll probably be able to usurp this title. I guess later on. This is the guy we just beat, right? Yeah, we just beat this guy. What else does he have? Vexen? Um... We could go for Vexen next, or we could go... Yeah, we'll go for Vexen next. Um... We'll just shit all over this dude. Vexen. You need to research military tech over there. You need to make the Pope not hate us over there. Yep, 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 yep. Alright. You guys need to move into territory and then stand down. How does this look? Um, not bad. Alright. We have officially doubled our power. I'm very, very happy about this. 300 instead of like 160. It's good. Very, very good. This is like the, yeah, this is Raul, this is the kid that we tried to kill for like, the whole first three episodes, so. We finally got some, we finally got some justice there. Paris is not upgraded at all. I hope this guy doesn't get any bright ideas about, like, attacking into us since we border him. That would really be shitty. Our monthly balance is two gold a month. We'll speed things up a little bit. And, uh... I do not understand why we are fighting fellow Catholics. I know that I'm great and I de deserve respect. I've gained the proud tree. Yes, you do deserve respect. You are the best. That's what you are. You are the best, Sophie. Countess Sophie. We're going to wait until Sophie becomes an adult and then we're going to end this session. That's what we're doing. Because Sophie is the man. So Sophie is my freaking hero. Shit is so amazing. When's your birthday? September 16th. Next year. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna times five it. Get to her birthday. Then we'll end this session. It's good. It'll it'll feel good to end a session on a victory for one. This is this is nice. <laughs> Still got a couple of months. Shit can go real wrong. She can get assassinated. I would probably cry. Probably cry if that happened. Accepted our peace. Not our peace offer. King of France's peace offer. Ooh, what's this? We are part of a war for Galicia. That's good. It's always good for the Catholics to fight each other when, you know... It's not like the Muslims are breathing down their neck or anything. It's not like this used to belong to the Catholics. Barcelona's doing really well. Navarre's doing really well. Can't say the same for the rest of them. The Regency has ended. Charismatic Negotiator. Look at that. Three stars. Not bad. Countess Sophie. Seven children lack guardians. Most of them are slow or weak. We'll do that later. I'm unmarried. I could get in with Scotland. <laughs> that hasn't gone real well. Um, get in with Norway. Get in with Venice, Georgia. That's a sh the Prince of France. That would not be a bad idea, I don't think. You got kids, man. How about I marry this kid? Arrange a betrothal with me. Matrilineal, no. How about your other kid? This one. He is one. That is kind of shitty. But we could get mad inheritance about this. We could get some insane inheritance. That's what we're doing. 
Sophie is patient. We don't have the patient trait, but she's waited for her time. Um, what's this? 500 piety? That probably won't happen. Amass wealth? That absolutely will not happen. Um, for intrigue. I don't know what I want. Um, I guess we'll improve intrigue. We'll try to stab some people. Spymaster likes me because I'm not a kid anymore. These guys all like me. He's ambitious. And he's an asshole. Okay, whatever. Good time to stop. We're gonna save <laughs> before shit goes wrong. We're gonna rename this. We're gonna rename this to Sophie the Awesome. That's what we are. We're Sophie the Awesome. I'm so happy. Alright. Thanks for watching. As always, this will be the end of session three. Session 3. So, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.